more devices can be like firewalls these are the devices that should protect your routers switches computers from the internet itself so mostly sometimes you find firewalls installed inside the organization or the network sometimes you find them at the edge it's called the edge the wan edge so they are facing the internet at the wan edge okay so firewalls protects you from the internet okay by there should be a comma here and by applying some restrictions to your local network by not allowing everything to enter your network by inspecting things or packets or data coming from the internet what is that where is it coming from where is it going to whom is it destined to why what is inside it type of the data the destination the source etc so much information it can inspect so much layers so much of info in the end it will decide to proceed or discard this is how a firewall works so it's very important device and please make sure that you have in your environment it looks like that well no not that one it looks like these because you can see that there are some of them that are really simple as and small uh, most not most well all of cisco firewalls have the name of the asa adaptive security appliance so there are some big firewalls some small firewalls some bigger firewalls like this one you see it's a two rack unit one rack unit and a very baby one these two guys these are even small you can see it in that uh, in that size it's clear so these are the firewalls what they are do they are inspecting and they either discard or proceed and that's it old firewalls by the way there is another solution called the intrusion i need my pen back the intrusion prevention system the ips this device this one this device you can see it this guy does a deep or do does a deep packet inspection dpi and try to spot an attack so there is the turn now or the acronym attack this is where someone from outside sometimes call an attacker sometimes called the hacker depends on what's that guy is really doing mostly hacking meaning logging into your network breaching the security of network and stealing some info this is hacking, stealing some info, getting something valuable. So you have, sometimes you have not lost info, but you have lost confidentiality. Your information was stolen. Like when I say my phone was stolen, I no longer have my phone. It has been stolen. It was gone. But when I say information have been stolen, sometimes they were only copied to a hacker. Sometimes they were really stolen. Like they were moved from my network, disappeared also stolen these are hackers things and there is a cisco ccmp security for information security and there is the new cisco certified cyber ops associate before it was ccna cyber ops now it's cisco certified cyber ops associate so it's not like cisco certified network associate dash dash cyber ops no it's the cisco certified cyber ops associate marketing naming yes and some cha simple changes in the agenda i know and we have the book of it and we will produce good courses of it as well you can always uh, follow me on the facebook page and the linkedin for the hottest and upcoming news etc again so there's the intrusion prevention prevention system that prevent that protects you from hacker who steals or clones or moves or copies data an attacker mostly will do something which is they will steal nothing they will copy nothing they will only harm your data destroy the data destroy the system get your devices to be completely utilized like their cpu and ram become 100 percent utilized so that the system will go down it will shut down itself and they will leave just mean just an attack like destroying something and then they leave without taking anything with them no treasure no gold no pirates at all no just destroying everything and leave immediately this is an attacker the ips it's a, an appliance it's a real device so you can see it, it's a physical device this device should be placed before the firewall in your environment like in nowadays they refer to the internet by using the icon of the 
cloud and the cloud is connect or your network actually that should look in that way the routers and the switches here they should be connected to the internet don't make them connected directly place a firewall this one is an important and before the firewall before i mean towards the internet place the ips so a firewall and an intrusion prevention system so this one should spot the attack spot the hacking if it was good data then it will be forwarded to the firewall the firewall will then check the type of the data etc and move forward the most common criteria used to spot an attack is when someone sends a thousand data like one data but it was copied to one thousand copy identical copy at the same time makes no sense you can send it one time and i will reply to why are you annoying me and destroying my brain ears processor and ram by asking the same question the same identical question one thousand time at one second at the same time you're killing my ears you're killing my brain my processor this is an attack they want to low push push on you press or press on you so much so that you will either explode or you will shut down an attack so the ips should detect that drop all of these extremely repeated data and only forward the acceptable data based on the config that you will do a firewall is the next step to protect you and inspect the data uh, there is something called a two-in-one solution and that will be called the next generation firewall and ngfw and that is one single appliance and actually these are the next generation firewalls i did place the photo below so these how next generation firewalls looks like from the asa of cisco this is one single device so you will place one single device only it's the next generation firewall and this one single device will be able to do both spot the attacks drop them the hacking etc and inspect the data and even route it can route it can forward and can do so many things and there are so many courses regarding that okay in my ccmp course that is already available on rhinogood.net in chapter in module 5 there it's called module 5 not chapter 5 you will find something important is that there are some videos talking about firewalls ips next generation firewalls next generation ips firepower next generation firepower so mainly just mainly not everything but mainly six security solutions developed from cisco and there is an ice and there are so many other solutions and i have mentioned like 11 of them there in the Incor. For the in-core time now we are only still studying the associate degree another device another component would be the wi-fi component now this is called the access point the very simplest the most simple example for a wi-fi access point that you let's say 95 99 percent perhaps 100 percent of the viewers will say i got the idea will be an access point is your home router the small router that you have at home that your computer laptop mobile phone smart printer etc all of them are connected to it so this is called the access point so it's the device that is hanged on a bracket on the wall mounted on the wall or on a desk it can be in that it has some antennas in that way inside it there is a component called the transmitter receiver also known as the transceiver and all of the details that will be expressed in chapter six all all of these inside this one single not that much of expensive device called an access point it's actually like a switch where access points are the wireless destination first destination for hosts to communicate with other hosts over the air so your mobile phone or your computer or whatever device that you have um yeah this should be a mobile phone is connected wireless via the waves the frequencies in the air to the access point there is a cable taken back from the back of the access point to the switch and from the switch the classic LAN that we know starts so this is just a simple intro or a simple um interpreting or discussion about the controller um, about the wireless access point now point five is called controllers not controller and it has some multiple options option a called the wireless controller also known as wireless local area network controller 
wireless LAN controller. This is a central management point for multiple access points. In chapter 6, there will be videos, so much videos. I was good at that time, as I remember, that were talking about having one story, and by story, I mean a floor, one floor of a hotel or a hospital. Let's assume it's a hotel. Perhaps most of you have visited hotels and you have walked in the aisles or between the floors of the hotel and you always had connectivity. Why? Because on the walls of the hotel, perhaps they are visible or invisible, built in, there were a lot of wall mounted access points looking just like a home router giving you internet while you are walking the aisle. Actually, there are some approaches of design and management of wireless called like the centralized one, making the access points, all of them being connected to a switch and the switch will be connected to something called the WLC. So these are two like sine and cosine waves or two waves looking for the wire looking like the Wi-Fi waves. So this is the wireless controller that is responsible for controlling all of these, controlling their SSID, controlling everything that I will interpret in chapter six. This is the Wi-Fi controller. So you see, so not that much of ports, one of them for your management, like, um, yeah, one of them is for uh, going to the internet. Others like, let's say, going for the switches or the access points, mostly for the switches, uh, some of them for the management console, etc. But in the end, we don't need that much of ports because this should be enough one or a couple of ports should be enough to be connected to the switch this switch is the guy that is asked or is requested to have high port density and we talked about that in the previous video so this is the wireless controller why there is a different why there is a like a uh, different numbering criteria like a because there is a b and b here is the the controller the money, the technology, the evolve, the revolution, the new world, like the new networking is the Cisco digital network architecture, uh, the, 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 yeah, the digital network appliance or architecture. Did I really forget about that? I believe the appliance, the DNA center, the DNA C, sometimes it's called a DNA dash C or DNA C from Cisco, Cisco DNA center, the super powerful super capable central point of management for wlc was the central point of management for what for access points and that's it thank you goodbye you go we are done but here i'm talking about the central point of management for the network users routers switches multi-layer switches firewalls ips whomever registered and licensed access points, users of the access points, wired wireless clients, everything, everything is being controlled, managed, analyzed, monitored, reported, everything troubleshooted and upgraded and maintained via this one single almost $90,000 appliance. This one, the Cisco DNA Center. So it's, yes, it's the next generation of networking like from now on it does analytics it does automation it does i uh, use one single simple graphic user interface to design display and configure your network and don't think like because it costs nine ninety thousand dollar you will need years and years to meet to have the honor to meet that no in chapter seven of this course i will teach you how to log into a free dna center that cisco provided to us for free and from there you will start to learn or study that Cisco DNA Center and you will make a really good use of that and you will enjoy it at that time of chapter 7. So this is the evolution of networking and you will meet it and you will have a really good time with it later. Okay, so let me clear my screen. Let's see what's left. We have servers only left before we end this video and I will talk about servers. Servers are powerful computers and that's it. Yes, simply. Servers are a device storing common data for users, clients, to make use of it. But, as a hardware matter, servers only a computer. But, with higher specs, higher capabilities, like a computer would rather nowadays have from four 
up to 12 or 16 let's like let's say really really classic from 4 to 8 cpu cores from 8 to 32 gigabytes of ram like from 1 up to 2 terabytes of storage classics when it comes to server and this is the icon of a server not the icon of a computer this is the icon of a server well you will need like let's say from 20 up to 96 cores of cpu or something um from 64 up to one terabyte of ram yes seriously 1024 uh, gigabytes of ram when you go to storage you'll start from four up to, uh, up to a couple of hundreds of terabytes of storage a computer runs an operating system like instead of microsoft windows 10 microsoft windows server that's it looks the same so it's the same but they store so many data so that the clients which are the end devices consume or generate new data and the server give them the data so at the end there is something very important i need to mention here which is clients and endpoints or end devices what are that what are those these two terms refers to the same thing these two terms refers to devices that a human use every day and interact with directly like this employee here or engineer is directly interacting with the computer so a computer a personal computer desktop or a laptop is an end device or an end point a server is an end device or an endpoint an ip phone is an end device uh, a mobile phone is an end device a printer is an end device and an ip camera is an end device as well all of the devices that have an operating system that you deal with directly you log into it directly use a graphic user interface etc work with it these are or an operating system these are endpoints what is not an endpoint routers switches with their types and firewalls these are not endpoints at all throughout the course you will start to learn the differences between an endpoint and not an endpoint uh, differences how to deal with them what protocols or features to use with them what's not okay one final thing is called the virtual machine and it will have uh, three videos i believe for virtualization a virtual machine is a device but you are not seeing it because it's virtualized into a server what do i mean by that we will have a video for that but this is just a network component that nowadays more than 90 percent of networks do have virtualized devices but i will talk about that like in three videos and around 40 up to 60 minutes in the upcoming videos in this chapter before the chapter ends and you will start to understand what virtual what, what virtualized virtualization is i'm sorry for that so i hope that everything was clear for you and i hope that you still have the energy to continue the upcoming video or to wait for tomorrow or the other day when you have time to continue studying this Cisco CCNA. Good luck and thank you.